Hi, I'm Shiv Glani. Thanks for checking out our Raise the Line interview series in which me and my co-host, Osmosis Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Rishi Desai, explore how to strengthen our healthcare system with some amazing leaders in medicine, technology, education, and government. And they have some great advice for people starting careers in healthcare as well. I hope you'll watch these highlights and then go listen to the full podcast interview wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Shiv Glani. And today I'm really excited to welcome to Raise the Line someone whose work on behavior change has made a real impact in my own life. Dr. BJ Fogg is a researcher and teacher at Stanford University and the founder and director of its Behavior Design Lab. He's perhaps best known for his recent New York Times bestseller, Tiny Habits, which details an approach to behavior change based on decades of work coaching more than 60,000 people. Well, I'd like to start first with learning more about you and what got you interested in the subject of behavior. Wow. Well, I think I just grew up in a family and a culture that really emphasized um, optimizing your life and your health and your wellness and so on. Uh, my dad was a physician, and I remember going to the gym with him for years. Um, even though he was super busy, he made time for that. And then within the larger religious community we belonged to, so much of that was about uh, taking care of yourself and optimizing uh, who you are. And so I think it was a really natural thing for me as I got older to try to understand how human behavior really works. And then later to discover, I didn't know I was going to discover this, but discover an entirely new way of helping people create habits. And then once I figured that out, then sharing it just seemed really, really natural. What advice would you give to our audience? Um, again, many of them current or future healthcare professionals about meeting the challenges of COVID and beyond, tiny habits or otherwise. I mean, you're a professor, you've had a very interesting career. W what advice would you like to give them? I guess there are two directions. One is about your own life and two is to be prepared to help others. Maybe you already are in a clinical setting. In your own life, just start practicing habits. Use the tiny habits method. I mean, get my book or, and do the free five-day program and there's other videos and so on and be playful with it. Okay. Don't try to be perfect. Discover, you know, follow directions of the tiny habits method. If you say, oh, after I you know, brush my teeth, I'm going to run for an hour. That's not the tiny habits method because it's not tiny. So start playing around with habits in your life, being guided by what I've outlined in the tiny habits method, and you will find what works for you. Play around with celebrations to find what celebrations work for you and be nice to yourself all along the way. Okay. Um, so many people were just too hard on ourselves. And that's one of the big insights in doing this work was we change best by feeling good, not by feeling bad. Okay. So be nice to yourself, have compassion. You won't, nobody's perfect in this change process. And then if you are working with others, help them first be nice to themselves, but help them understand how the tiny habits method works and applying it very practically in their lives. I had a physician um, and he didn't know I was, at, you know, I was writing the book, Tiny Habits at the time. And, you know, I was really busy burning the candle at both ends. And he said, okay, I'm going to teach you a meditation habit right a meditation technique right now when you are stressed do this and dr during that 15 minute visit he took time to actually teach me a new breath breathing technique that i didn't know and he says that's what you do and i walked out of there and i was like oh my gosh he just killed it he didn't even have my book yet but so even within that limited time frame i so admire that physician for taking the time and teaching me a, a very, very simple thing to do and helping me contextualize it. And so I think it is possible um, and help people change where they want to change. I mean, my physician wasn't getting me to do things I didn't want to do. He was all, he was listening to my concerns. Saying, okay, here is something you can do. And he made it work within the time frame. <laughs> so it's not impossible, people. Um, and, and one of the key things is just get people going just get them started. And once they start, they build hope. That's one of the main things of the Tiny Habits Method, especially the five-day program, is it gives people hope. And then with hope, they do more and they do bigger things. Thanks for watching this preview of Raise the Line. To hear the full interview, check out all of our podcasts and subscribe to the series. Please go to osmosis.org forward slash raise the line podcast 
or listen wherever you get your podcasts.